welcome to Panthaki Learn. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So, binary segmentation, it is one of the uh, simplest uh, segmentation that has been applied, which is also known as the thresholding segmentation. Or by applying the threshold value, we will be able to apply a region map from the binary values. The binary values are nothing but zeros and ones. So that is known as the labeled uh, kind of sections where zero is known as black and one is known as the white part. So from this particular segmentations, this is the basic level, which is also applied for the background or uh, we can also say for multiple kinds of uh, simple without any algorithm. So at most places, uh, whichever we have seen like uh, the noise removal part or we are separating the number of objects. So for that kind of sections and all, here we can use this binary image segmentation. So this, uh, the problem, whatever we will be facing over here, many of the regions will be able to get it as disjoint regions, nothing but which is not connected. So that uh, it is nothing but the variation of the threshold value over here. According to the in, uh, different different image, that particular threshold values and its complete region will be changing over there. So now we are going to just uh, see it as demo. So here I have a complete section and first we are going to clear all the previous windows and data. And reading the input image, I am taking the same penguin image only, converting into the grayscale. And from that, here I have given the different region. This is the threshold value and the first data I am going to provide it as zero. Let us start from zero and this particular value can be varied till 255. So I stands for the row and J stands for the columns. So nothing but 768 into 1020. Many of them might have heard it as 1080 pixels or 720 pixels. So that particular section is only okay. So for each and every rows and columns, it will be segregating that uh, threshold sections, which will be applied based on the regions of color. So based on that particular condition, whatever we have provided for each and every rows and columns, therefore this threshold value will be applied. And if it is less than but a particular threshold value, then it is known as the zero. Else it will be displayed as 255 over there. And whatever we are applying it over here, it will be applied for the entire range. Here we can vary the pixel size. And according to the pixel size only, each and every kinds of data will be cleared. Here also we will be seeing that uh, same implementation for different different images. Now let us run for the penguin image. As I have given that as zero, so this will be the segmented part can be generated. Okay. Now we'll be increasing to 10. So some more parts has been segmented. Go for 50. Yeah. So now we are able to get the beak and uh, the shape of the penguin go with 80 some more places has been clustered go with uh, 150 yeah now we can measure that particular different different changes go for 200 and move for 255 and now what happens if it has goes beyond 255 so this will be the range if we go for beyond 255 even at 255 itself, we are able to see only the dots. I think it will be better and the final data of 245. Okay, 245 is also not good. It is 210. Yeah. Let's move with 170. So this will be the accurate threshold where we will be able to collect the shape of the penguins. Now, the same thing, how we can apply to a medical image. Sorry, there is no such an image. Let us go with the three or let me check what are the different different images available. Yeah, we can go with four we Can go with four and seven. With four. So four the image only will be having the tumor applied image. Okay. So whenever we are just changing the image, we have to change this number of rows and columns too. Okay, because whatever the image dimension we have, it is less comparatively to the previous image. So this will be the size. And according to this, I assume that it is around of 360. So we have to check each and every line. OK, 
okay we will give the lowest value of 200 yeah therefore the size of the image is 200 okay so let us start from 0 so if it is 0 means this is the state of a brain if you are giving it as 30 we will be able to collect the border lines of the brain 80 not 380 80 alone yeah some patterns of brain has been recognized go for 140 yeah so from 140 itself we are able to get a clear value uh, almost a clear value of tumor what happens if we go for provide 180 yeah little bit clarity is provided so therefore we will be able to segment the tumor by using the threshold so this can also be applied for multiple purpose k-means comes under the sections of different different clustering and this comes under the part of threshold threshold value of a particular image the same way only spatial fuzzy means cluster also will be working so here for spatial fuzzy means uh, i have a separate file so within this particular separate file i have created the function like whatever the image we are providing as input that image should be taken in the form of double so that particular double here we will be resizing it and reshaping into the 2d into the 1d image and here i'm going to uh, collect the four clusters so from the four clusters only inside spatial fuzzy means cluster we will be able to collect a good amount of uh, segmentation and after that exponential of two is applied for each and every calculation purpose so these are all the default values like exponentiation or nothing but the square power of two maximum iterations are provided for 100 and minimum uh, improvement provided for each and every clusters it is nothing but one exponential of i so display during iteration no, no need of display anything uh, whenever we are iterating and after that here we have creating that objective functions like converting all the iterations into a matrix each and every iteration process will be taken in the form of matrix and the random uh, clustering data will be applied so for from the cluster data all the data will be segregated and here we have applied the clusters of four so for four different clusters we will be able to occur it. and from that column or the sum uh, we have, have to apply it in the form of ones because all the data that has been taken in the form of zeros or the matrix that has to be taken with another matrix data so this is zeros data and matrix data which comes under the fuzzy partition now from that maximum iteration here each and every center of the data which is most important part of the clustering because fuzzy means is also a clustering data only which comes under the section of centroid data now the distance will be measured by using the zeros section and therefore the output will be predicted for each and every point of center data which is from the one dimension because whatever the 2d dimensions we have taken that has been converted into the 1d and finally the actual number of iterations uh, according to the iterations the four clusters has been stored into this folder known as clusim okay and therefore the clusim uh, whatever images has been appeared inside the clusim it will be displayed inside the subplot according to the rows and columns okay so now now let us run it so that particular function here i have called reading the input image applying the rgb to gray now seg out and total area and calling this m segment file and towards that particular input i am providing this rgb to gray image now let me run it since i am providing a a uh, high image a uh, high image in the sense whatever the penguin image whatever we have seen that is a high clarity image it takes a time for processing purpose so now the clustering process has been completed okay so this is nothing but the different different clusters available so this actually comes under the selecting process yeah so this particular selecting process also applies uh, sorry just a moment once again we'll run and we'll select the segmented area with roi
So from this, I can choose an appropriate image. These are the four clusters done by the spatial fuzzy means. So if I am taking this means, so this is nothing but its complete area. Similarly, let us try for another image. This is a thermal image. So this is for thermal image. If I want to calculate uh, any of the area wherever the white part or the segmented part is there, I can select it and this will be the area in millimeters. So how the clustering is done means in this way. So this is known as the clustered images and this is known as spatial fuzzy means clustering using MATLAB for image processing. So this provides an accurate clustering while compared to the k-means as well as binary segmentation and this has been widely used for multiple projects. So if I provide the same thing for a brain tumor applied image means, this will be the status. Since brain tumor image is very low quality, it's doing all the clusters in SP. And from this, I can take an appropriate image which contains the tumor and this will be its area calculated. Okay, and these are the different clusters. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, Kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.